What's up, everybody? Dust MTG from Hawaii with a Mystery Booster 2 in the house. Now, I did open a festival in a box before, and um, I ended up getting a second one of these because I knew, I knew that this is going to be a, an interesting opening, and there's a ton of cards to see, and I just... I just gotta, I gotta open more than one box, you know? So let me just slip this off, cause you know I'm a hoarder. I like to save the plastic, slip it back on, and then stash it away later. But here's what the box looks like. Here you go, my janky setup. Um, nothing much. I know this, you know, it's for the people that don't get a chance to get their hands on one of these. And um, yeah, so we're looking at 24 packs today. Oh, here we go, here we go. I did, um, like I said, I opened a festival in the box. Uh, and um, it was it was interesting. I mean, I, I, I gotta be honest. Those packs that came with, I wonder if I have them. Oh, not, not this one. Anyways, it came, you know, the packs that it comes with. The festival in the box, which is this one right here. Festival in the box. Um, it came with a... Oh, why can't I remember? Uh, not Throne of Odrain, um, Wilds of Odrain, Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and a Commander Masters. Now, Lost Ca Caverns of Ixalan and Commander Masters holds the two cards, the big ones that got banned recently, and that's the Druid Lotus and the, the Monocrypt. So I feel like Wizards kind of did us dirty with that. I mean, they should have just gave us other packs. Like, why Why do that, you know? And it's just so sneaky how they did it. I mean, that's just my opinion. But here we go. Let's get into it. Um, so I, I like the older ones, like Tempest. I mean, this is from the mom set, right? And then uh, we got Weatherlight up in here. <laughs> we got a Jump jump Start um, 2022 card, but um, changed the lane. Anyways, um, yeah, here we go. Um uh, I will take all the old border ones. Uh, to me, it just feels a little bit more nostalgic, but whoa, what is this? 2024. Wait, what am I even looking at right now? What? Can, can you let me know what, what this is? Because it doesn't have the Planeswalker symbol on the bottom. And I've never seen this set symbol before. It's a nice Rebecca Gway artwork, so I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, Exodus, and we get into the artifact. Whoo! Oh my goodness! A Chroma Angel of Wrath. Holy smokes! Um, I forget what this is. DVD? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, oh, and the Whiteboard of Ponder. Um, is this worth a few bucks? Here we go, Hydro Blast. So, here we do this. Whiteboard Mythics rares and then yeah these future site ones um I'll, I'll, I'll put those on the side yeah yeah so rares will go there and uh we'll do it like that we'll do it like that not bad not bad okay cool amateur setup is good again let me know what that is first pack first pack down um that was really interesting actually so cool um i like this card it's a pretty good one um i'm guessing this is like some kind of guild kit style um pre-constructed deck mad anti okay all right so you should get two of every color oh nice iconic masters bookworm that's a pretty good one um and then you get a colorless and then a rare or mythic i think nice ral storm conduit and then you get the white border and then there's the future site so this is a rare let's put this it's actually a pretty good one. If you're running swamps, it's, that's, uh, that's where it's at, okay? Skyscraper. Um, last video, if you didn't check it out or whatever, um, I got like this ancestral recall um, style. Oh, this is crazy artwork. Who is this? Cool. Whoa, okay, okay. Urza's, I'm gonna guess, Destiny. <laughs> Yeah, um, nice Mercadian Mask. Holy smokes, a sliver. Yeah, nice, I'll take all the slivers. And you know, it really is, I, I gotta be honest, I really enjoy these mystery boosters because it just has cards from 
from all of Magic's history. This is from a guild kit, but still a mythic nonetheless. A rare. Whoa, what? Hmm, I gotta be honest. I'm not a fan of a lot of these white borders. I haven't seen a white border one that I'm really interested in. So I think I'll just put the rares in there. And then the non-rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, there we go. There we go. Cool. This is a uncommon black vice. One of the OG cards. <clears throat> okay. Um, but I do dig the future sight ones. It's it's nice to, you know, just kind of shed some light on it again because it did exist back then. It was an entire set. Oh, a nice cold snap. I like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and a lot of these cards just haven't seen in a while like i've i've come across them before but um ultimately it's just um you don't really unless you have like vintage cards oh this is a interesting one power matrix wow pretty crazy oh bells in lock okay <laughs> but this this will be a, a longer video i'm i'm just trying to enjoy this i'm not here to blaze through packs um, again, it's really hard to blaze through when you see all these different cards from different sets. Here's Mirage. Here's a Commander Anthologies, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, some um, Ultimate Masters. Okay, more Cold Snap. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is yeah, this is this is fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. And an Artifact Land. Okay. Oh, another Mythic. Um, I forget, I, I think my last box I got like about 11 Mythics or something. Rare, Once Upon a Time, that looks pretty good. Um, and I mentioned before, but I do wish there was like some kind of like black outline before the, the white. Ooh, Eater of Death, there's a, the Dark reprint. This is a reprint from the Dark. They finally made one and they're doing it in the future site. Yeah, I count this as a rare. Okay, Toddler's Rage. Um, but yeah, 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 here's, I showed this before, but you know, this is a fourth edition. Yeah. Fourth edition, 1995. And it's just got like some kind of light border around it, you know, like some, some kind of something. And, and these white ones are just nothing. It's just straight, like transition to the white. I don't know how I feel about that. It, it's actually, I do. I don't like them. A lot of them don't look good, and um, there's only a few that I've seen that are pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, okay, Coffin Queen. This is a reprint of an old card. Oh, Comet. That's cool. This is originally a um, Infinity card, and you know meant to be silver border, but it's playable. Doesn't have the acorn there. It's a mythic, so that's cool. Oh, Torpor Orb. Ooh, sliver. Okay, I'll take that. You know, if I put that in my commander deck, it should be pretty fun. Um, wait, wait, wait. I gotta read that. Slivers you control have hope. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures with hope. Oh, cool. So, yeah, this is not that bad. I'm pretty sure my play group would accept that. But here we go. This is a good card. Tarper Orb. Okay, no, uh, no triggered abilities. So, that's a nice card. It was like a $20 card at one point. I don't know about now, so. Okay, um, but yeah, I'm trying to look out and see if there's any common uncommons worth anything. Um, I think so far, maybe Ponder. I'm not like fully paying attention to all these. I'm really just looking at the art and then like the name. Um, whoa, okay. Um, I like the land cards. This is this is really cool. I'm not separating them, but okay. I got a command card of uh, Dragons of Tarkir, uncommon. Ghost Quarter, see, like, this kind, it kind of does harken back to, like, um, 9th edition and stuff like that, 8th edition. So, <clears throat> it, it looks, it looks decent. Um, not all cards do look decent, though. Oh, here we go. This is a nice one. Uh, I count this as a rare. I think this might be worth it. So that, this slot might have good value. Okay, Just Guy Baller. Okay, that is, that is, this is the last pack on the far right side let's let's get into it i'm loving this set i'm probably not going to pick up another one but um yeah i had this box come in seventh edition what what this is weird whoa okay hold on it's seventh edition but the only black bordered seventh editions were the foils and this is not a foil 
interesting. Okay, I'll throw that up on the interesting showcase, whatever. Um, yeah, okay, crazy imp. <clears throat> okay, here we go, here we go. And I think that's time shift. I can't remember the set name. Tangle from Invasion. Um, oh, nice guilds. Guilds of Ravnica, I think. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Pandemonium, this is the second time I've seen this one. Uh, set symbol, Mythic. Ooh, Minsk and Boo. What, is this still holding some value? I think it's over 10 bucks. It might be less. This white border might be around 10 bucks. I'm probably wrong. Um, Erratic Portal is a nice rare. And Processing Plants. <laughs> Ulamog's Power Plant, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like those kinds of, uh, you know, little cameo style um <laughs> cards so here we go here's a sliver <clears throat> let's get into it let's get into it okay Ooh, is this a dupe wow kind of rare you know i don't know how many to oh sheldred's edict this i think is worth something so i'll put that there okay <clears throat> all right um whoa apes i'm trying to i need to juice up my ape deck oh here we go another a gorilla what is that holy smokes like a wolverine gorilla I do not want to encounter that, yo. That's crazy. Another, what am I talking about? What? See what happens on my channel when I mention dupes? I start getting dupes. This is not a set that you should be seeing dupes. What the heck? Is this still a, a valuable uncommon? Jeez. Oh, oh, whoa. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I think this has some value. Um... This might be the most expensive... Oh, wait, 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 I'm probably super wrong, but... I think this has, like, a good amount of value, even though it's uh, uncommon. It means nothing right now, okay? I think I'm just gonna go on on a whim and say that that's... That has some value. It might be one of the more expensive ones. Just because I think the original... This is the first time it's reprinted, maybe? The original is, like, uh, Portal 3 Kingdoms, I think. Just taking a wild guess I'm talking about that, so... Um, here we go. Some nice Richard Kane Ferguson up in here. Wow, um, damn, that's, that's cool, that is cool, I just, yeah, I like, I like that, so I'm gonna put that on the side, okay, <sighs> crazy odyssey, tempest, you just see, like, it just has a different vibe, like, old magic compared to, like, the more modern new stuff, you know, I mean, I'm just being biased, I'm a, oh, like, like a, you know what I mean, like a muscle burst, I need all the muscle bursts I can get, so that's, that's good, um, Unstable Frontier. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Welcome to my channel. I'm DustMTG, the Duke King, y'all. What the heck is going on? Hold up. Okay, okay. At least we're not getting dupes on the. Whoa, back to basics. Oh, snap. Okay, you know what? I mean, because this future site um, slot is doing pretty good, I I'm okay with these stupid mythic dupes. Look at that. Same order too. So what? Am I gonna get all these? I swear, if I get this, if this mythic pops up next, maybe after a few packs, I will freak out. Like I'm not supposed to be getting dupes. This is a mystery booster product. Like the set is huge. It's not as big as the first one, I think. But what the heck? Oh my gosh. Hey, I mean, I, I it's not something I'm happy about, but. Call me the Duke King, y'all. Duke King. Uh, okay. <laughs> At least the common uncommons. I'm not. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is this is this worth something? Is that worth something? Uh, I know what, somebody commented on like a video in the past, and uh, they pointed that out. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I appreciate y'all. If you are watching and you're the one that commented, thank you. Um, here we go. Okay. Wait. Was is this a dupe? I, I got. I have to check. Oh my gosh, no, no, please, no, 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 it's not supposed to be happening. Snow Covered Island, okay, good, okay, okay. I have, uh, my last box, I got other ones, so Chain of Vapor, I like the chains. And Orb of Origin, Zero Drop, but you gotta pay two, okay. Interesting, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> um, what is happening with this? Uh, let me know, has anybody seen uh, duplicates on this scale? And uh, I hope, I, you know, I mean, I don't hope this on anybody, but if this is an anomaly, then, yeah, you know, it's a bad deal for me. 
Definitely a bad deal for me. Okay, Stormcaller, I like this art. It looks pretty dope in foil. Um, by the way, foil, you get only one foil in this entire box. Oh my gosh, I called it. Oh no, this is not good. Holy crap. Um, oh, by the way, Mishra's Bobble, nice. Okay, Tara the Magistrate, a reprint from Markadian Masks. Holy smokes, I really like that. And Keeper of the Crown, that's pretty cool. Um, damn, these these are pretty dope. I'm just going to cover that one up. Holy smokes. Okay, I like the other pulls, but what is, what's happening with my Mythics? What's going on? <sighs> Do King in the house. Okay, we're halfway through. Um, the white borders should not follow the same trend that um, I'm seeing. I'm trying to stay away from the D word. Um, have you seen this before? I don't know. I'm, I'm just very skeptical right now. Just, just <laughs> Okay, a bunch of one drop blues. That's kind of scary, okay? Um, wow, what is this? Um, Throne of Eldraine. I don't remember this. Why don't I remember this art? Jeez, it was kind of a long time ago. Here's a land, nice. Fire Servants. Oh, uh, some Ultimate Masters. Okay, some more Modern Masters. And, oh, okay. I don't know why I thought this was a... Whoa, this is a crazy vanilla card. And it's in like another... Oh, wait. Is there always another language? I'm so confused. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Here we go with the dupes. Okay. This is actually a pretty good card. Spirit of the Labyrinth. Each player can't draw more than one card each turn. Lock them down, you know. Ooh, nice. Like Lightning Greaves. Throw that in there. All the playables and, and possibly got some value. You know, that's the pile there. Um, not necessarily just rares, but, you know. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm freaking out a little bit. Let me just catch my breath. Um... <clears throat> Okay, Forbid. I like the DCI promo foil. Um, whoa, that's crazy. Our word, Fate Reforged, one of my favorite sets. And, uh, I mean, it's a cheap set, but, you know, it had Ugin. And back in the day, Ugin was like a top dog. So, okay, okay. We're starting to see some, some actual dupes in the rares in that slot. What is going on? I mean, let's call this a dupe box. Like, this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? Holy crap. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad about everything else. Oh, snap. That's cool. This was only printed as a novel promo. You got it with a book. And now they have it in a future site stuff. That looks so crazy. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm really digging all of this. I'm digging all of it. Okay. I mean, that that all these cool hits makes up big time for what is happening right now with this duplicate box okay um here we go whoa that's crazy crazy portal stuff return any one creature to its owner's hand yeah, okay okay stupor um some theros beyond death okay oh okay Ooh. oh call time i thought it was like some misprint stuff but yeah call time it's a snow land okay dress down <clears throat> Does it still have some value? Not sure. And just common thought vessel. <clears throat> Arena, another one. Another promo that only was printed as a promo. Um, so that's cool. I think it was a comic book promo, not too sure. But that's nice, okay. Wow, um, yeah, that was it for the middle stack. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I do just wish that the mythic and regular mythic and rare slot was a little bit Less duplicates. <laughs> Ghostly Prison. Nice one. <clears throat> nice card. Uh, good good to play with. Okay, let's let's keep trucking on. Coming up on 20 minutes in the video. Here's our first split card. From Plane Shift. Plane Shift? Not not Plane Shift. Plane Shift is the older older set. Okay. Um Garth. Finally a different mythic. I mean it's not <clears throat> it's not a super valuable one, however. You do get to um, choose a card name and then make a copy of Black Lotus there. So that's pretty cool there. Rare seed time. Is this worth something still? Whoa, kobolds. What? Oh, that's right. Whenever they had a vanilla creature, they just did that. So that's it's pretty cool. Bolt fire. Okay, on to the next stack 
Let me move some common and commons off to the side. There we go. And let's truck on this last stack. Um, those of y'all staying in and tuning in, you know, I appreciate all the viewers and watching my my lame -o channel with this amateurness. Oh, Tolarian Terror, watch out, Professor. And moving on. Whoa, Tempest. Oh, what is this? Is that the weather light? That is. Yep, that is the weather light. Gerard, the captain. Uh, okay, let's see. Ikoria. Some battle bond up in here. Ooh, ghost town. I just I just like the old older ones. Okay, nothing crazy here. Is this a couple of bucks, maybe? Couple of coffers! Holy crap! What? What? I mean, since it got reprinted, like it went down in price, but holy smokes. Um, and they, it's funny, they printed at Uncommon, just like the original, um, Torment set. It was an Uncommon. Dang, that's pretty awesome. Oh, and Future Sight. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah, yeah. These the Future Sight and the Future Sight frame. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Value Town. Now, I don't know if we're on a trip to Value Town, but definitely, um seeing a lot of really really nice cards i think this is this is a better box than the last one so you know it is what it is um i just i just hope i have enough uh memory right now because we are over 20 minutes at this time just a horror elemental 7 7 beastie just uh not an actual beastie but here we go here we go ba bad moon ba -ba -ba -ba. okay here we go calling the week this has to be worth a couple a couple dollars um I'm pretty sure the original Exodus is worth something. So, Giver of Runes, nice. This is a Modern Horizons card. And just Goblin. Goblin. Goblin, Goblin. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like the playtest cards. I think they're a lot... They're a little funnier than than the, the first Mystery Booster. Oh, Ossification. Not a bad card. Is this... Worth a couple, a uh, couple of bucks? Uh, probably not. Um, all right. Like I said, I am enjoying this stuff. Seeing all these older sets and even Lorwin and all that stuff. And whew, okay, some Zendikar action. Here we go. Modern Horizons two and a Crystalline Crawler. Nothing crazy here. And oh, rare Leyline of the Void. Okay, um, not super valuable anymore. But they did have the original artwork printed on this. Ancient stirrings, nothing crazy there. Penumbra, Umbra. Okay, cool. And um, you know, even even though I opened um another box, like the playtest cards, I haven't seen too many of the same. Whoa, this crew looks dark. They're like the just the border it doesn't look like the original. Um, that's okay. It is what it is. You know, Keeper of the Dead, cool card. Actually, pretty. Uh, I remember playing this card. It was it was pretty devastating. You know, kind of fun to play. Um, but here we go, here we go. Let's go into it. Whoa, Shapeshifter, Changeling. Not a bad one, just two for two, two. <clears throat> okay. Oh, nice Crystalline Sliver. Whoa, Grist, the Hunger Tide, Planeswalker. And a Path to Exile, nice. Okay, I'll take it. It does kind of, you know, again, certain ones look good, but if it just had more of that type of just, a thicker border oh walking ballista is this is this worth a couple bucks it's not banned is it okay i mean shoot at this point anything can be banned uh, they want to ban all like some favorite commander cards and just, how are we gonna stick it back to to wizards you know i feel like they did dirty whoever bought that festival in a box that was kind of a that was kind of a low blow wizards i mean i'm trying not to talk bad about y'all but that was a low blow, Wizards. Mythic, Worst Fears. What is this from? You control target player during that player's next turn. Holy smokes. What? Okay, that's that's a nice Mythic. Mem Knights, I like this card. Oh, snap. Okay, okay, look, it's it's a it's a zero casting cost for a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty awesome, okay? Uh, I'll throw that on the side. I like that, Mem Knight. Okay, cool, cool. I got the, I have a bunch of the original. I think it was Scars of Meridian from the original uh, original set that it was printed in. But still, it's it's nice. It's, it's a free 1-1, one, one, you know? 
Okay, and you can, you know, if you have multiple in your hand, you can just throw them all down. You got a bunch of one ones to block for you. Or sacrifice, whatever need be. Shuko, gonna put that down. I like that card. Um, just a call time and tendrils of agony. Um, is, was this worth something? Not sure. Hoodwink. Um, nice instant. Nice instant. Okay. I think, we, oh, two packs left. Okay, y'all, but, you know, thanks for tuning in and staying um, to the end if you did. Y'all, the real ones, as always, and, you know, supporting my small channel. Um, I really just open this stuff up to enjoy it, and if you enjoy it too and you manage to bear my awkwardness and um, <laughs> amateurness, oh, here's some plane shift, then that's cool. Some ultimate masters, nobody wants to get trolled, but that's okay. And an uncommon flickering ward. You know, some of these, they're, they're, they chose them because they're kind of playable. So, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, snap. Okay, okay, okay. So, a couple of things about this one. So, the artwork, first off, is from a Vanguard printing. It's, it's a little bit bigger card, and it's kind of like Plane Shift style. Um, I actually have some Plane Shift. So, like, the card is about the size of a Plane Shift card. Uh, plane Chase card, sorry. And, um... It's similar to it where there's certain stipulations and that changes your game. Um, they decided to use the art for this Captain Sisse, which was originally printed. Was it? It's not Odyssey. Invasion, I believe. And yeah, so this is a future site one. This is really cool. I will definitely sleeve that up and put that. And, and it's a foil. Come on, man. Holy smokes, I'm digging that. That's That's got to be my favorite pull of all time uh, for this. Uh, not of all, all time, all time, but just for this mystery booster too. So that's nice. Okay, that makes up for all the dupes that we got on the mythics and the rares. <laughs> that really does. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Again, the, uh, oh, squirrel nest. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of these, but it's just nice to see it. Um Anyways, um, Sunlit Marsh, here we go, Ooh, nothing crazy, just a goblin guide, and to finish, Flusterstorm, what, did this go up in price recently, not sure, Luxor Ignited, okay, nothing, nothing crazy that harkens back to like a power nine for these, so, um, unless I missed something, I don't, I don't think so, Claw from the Grave, no, nah, that's, Let's see, Value Town, I think that's a funny one. Uh, what does it say? Take a trip to, okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna waste time. Our, we're already coming up on like 30 minutes and uh, most people don't even wanna read it. But I think, no, Processing Plant, that's just like Tron Land stuff. Nothing crazy, no um, Power 9 references. Uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, I mean, Look at all this, this spread is crazy, and there's just, I don't know, it's it's a good, fun time if you ever wanna, if you ever wanna draft this with some friends, so. Um, ultimately, I, I think I think I enjoy this a lot, like, really a lot. A lot of throwbacks and um, just nostalgia up the wazoo. So, besides the dupes, okay? Like, I don't even wanna talk about the, the mythics, you know? Like, the mythics are just irrelevant in, in this box besides the the white border you know seriously the white border mythics oh my gosh the dupes dupe city up in here uh, you know dupe king and here's my prized pulls that i actually really am interested in um so, so okay okay so of course midnight okay um i just like this card from arcadian mass it looks cool snow covered island um i think this is worth something i think Arena, nice one. These two were just um, like comic book promo, and this is a novel promo. This is a nice foil. I'm pretty stoked about this. I mean, even though it looks a little washed out, that is okay. It is a foil nonetheless, y'all. And then we got a 7th edition Black Border 7th edition non-foil. That's kind of funny. And let me know what this is. I have no clue, but I love the artwork. Rebecca Gway is awesome. Right on, everybody. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Aloha. Peace.